When you get to your parents, who sent you? Good. Now your senior brother tells you to go and meet your parents. You say, brother, say, make I come. Jesus said in Mark 16, he said, he that you have not asked in my name. He said, ask the Father in my name and he will give it to you. When you approach God in prayer, all you need to be is, Father, Jesus said, I should come and ask you. What if you want to say, you should go and pray. So Jesus said, I should come and ask you for a Mercedes Benz. Let me see how God will say no to him. You see, once you begin to worry about whether you are right or wrong, prayed or not, you remove Jesus from the story. Because now it's your qualification you are bringing before him. He has to listen to us. Until you realize our righteousness, see, the Bible said no weapon fashioned against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you yourself, you will condemn them. He said, and their righteousness is of me, not of themselves. All your righteousness before God is as a filthy rag. Somebody paid for you to be righteous. Your righteousness is a gift. It's not an achievement. That's why your 40 days fasting can be irritating to God. Because when you finish fasting, you feel like you've done something. That's the reason why God is answering prayers less and less. Because people are approaching him on the basis of their goodness. Father, did you see how that lady in church, that lady that I see going from one man to another, she is the one at the altar, Lord, I have not had sex for the past 10 years now. I have kept myself pure. And that because what you keep reminding God every time you open God, you say, yes, to people. He will give to that lady that committed the sin yesterday just to prove a point to you that it is not of you. It is not of him that will let nor run it, but of God that showeth mercy. And until you understand that it is by the mercies of God that we are not consumed, you are missing it. Am I saying you should see? No. no. I am saying sin does not affect your relationship with God, but it, relates, it affects your relationship with life. If you sin, you still be miserable. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, who can separate us from the Lord? No. Death, tribulation, no. eh? affliction, Angels, heaven, hell, they said nothing. Nothing. Why? It's paid for. That's why he asked the Galatians, he says, stupid Galatians, who confused you like this? He said, when you began to see miracles, was it because you were good, you observed the law, or because you heard me? Do you know what kills us? We stand before God on one day. Mm. You don't see any reason why God you, you don't see any reason why God should bless you with a big car. Because by the time you finish looking at yourself, you tell yourself you are not good enough. You know all of you that when a guy compliments you and says, Ah, I love that picture you took, you say, Eh, that ugly picture, you just cost yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think you are fishing for compliments. No, you just cost yourself. Who are you to say what God built is ugly? Have you ever built a human being before? Who made you ugly? All the ugly people in this church stand up. God did not make anyone ugly. See, listen to me, it's difficult for people to swallow. We don't live righteously so that God can bless us. We live righteously because God has blessed us. The proof that we are blessed is the righteous living we live. You understand? My righteousness does not make God like me any bit more than he liked me before I had received Christ. Wow, we were yet sinners. God commended his love unto us. Oh my God. In that he sent his son to die. He says, scarcely for a good man, so to die. He said, for you, you were a sinner. God still said, I love you, and I'm paying. I'm giving you access to the game. I tell somebody, I know I will enter heaven. I'm too sure of it. It's not they write my name. I don't sing go when the saints go marching. Oh, how I don't. To be in that number. You see, people who are not in the number, they are not born again. 
People like us are not even in the number. We are citizens. I'm not citizens. We are citizens. I don't need visa to enter heaven. I don't want to be a number because I'm already a member. Are you listening to me? So I don't sing those songs. You see people be singing it and then the drama will go boom, 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 boom. Oh, when the sing, oh, when the sings, oh, what they need, then the guys will be troubled. Pull the trumpet, ba na 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 ta pa pa na pa na pa 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 na ta na ta ta unbelievers. Unbelievers because they are hoping to qualify. Prepare for rapture. Please start packing your suitcase. She better first come. What preparation are you going to do? You don't preach rapture anymore. They don't know what they're talking about. What is there to preach in that book? Jesus is coming back. You prepare. Prepare what? He didn't come to prepare. God to leave. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. If he come, he will meet me where I am. And he will carry me. I don't need to say, yeah, I have my flight to go. I'm already a member. He can't miss me. I cannot miss him. Why? The ticket has been paid for. That's what you need to know. Everything man is suffering is because Adam sinned. Not because of Adam's sin, but because Adam sinned. You must understand there's a difference. It's not Adam's sin, it's Adam's sin. Eh? And everything that must come as a miracle is because Jesus obeyed. Once you understand that, that devil can no longer hold you. That devil is only holding you because you think there is a reason why he should hold you. After all, I didn't pray. When I was in, before I entered university, a young girl was discussing with me, said, he said, sure, something came to press me on my bed. Something came to press me. I couldn't sleep. Then when I woke up, I just realized that normally I pray two hours before I sleep, but yesterday night I only prayed five minutes before I slept. I said, guess what? For the next two weeks, I'm not going to pray before I sleep. Let me see what has the courage to come and press me. And I went to sleep. Every night I go and sleep. I said, I'm not praying. Let me see the devil that will come and press me. One thing I will remind the devil always is, it's not my blood. It's not my name. It's not my work. So you see, Satan coming to this world, finding nothing in me. Before the devil accused me of my sin, I will tell you that it is not my sin that is taking, it is not my righteousness taking me to heaven. It is still his soul. So shut up, you are never qualified to talk. It's only people that are without sin that should talk. And you are not one of them. The only people that have the right to condemn me is God the Father and God the Son. They are the only two. And guess what? They are constantly the one defending me. How did you hear what I said? They are the ones defending me. Before one angel will point and say, see what that pastor did, God will say, shut up. Say, do you know why? Go and become a human being and see. You think it's easy? Because I'm recovering you here. Oh yeah, go become a human being and see what will happen to you. They can't leave my children alone. So be the joke. They say, who shall lay charge to God's delight? Romans chapter 8. And that's as it says, who will come and accuse you? Because it's paid for. The cars you are going to drive, they are paid for from it. Do you know why God said we should be? I was talking yesterday and some people were listening to me as I climbed the staircase and walked away. I said, the difference between the rich and the poor is that the poor eh, struggles to let go of what is in his hand. The rich, on the other hand, does not hesitate to spend. The difference between the rich and the poor is not how much they have in their account, but their willingness to use. When you see people calculating money, holding it tight and not letting it go, people who don't want to help their fellow man, you know they are poor. I don't care how many millions they have in their hands. But when you see people who give liberally, you know they are rich. Why? Rich and poor is attitude. Yes, sir. I said it's what? Attitude. It's all about how you see yourself. You see yourself that all you have is 10K, let it not finish. So now you are counting everything you do. Listen to me, let me tell you something. I can have 10k left. I will give 9k and keep that 1k. And somebody will say, Bishop is rich. So look at the way he just gave the money. No, there is plenty more where it came from. Yes. But it's not in one physical account. Yes. 
It's not in one bank account. You check my bank balance, it doesn't look like it. I will still come with a new car tomorrow. Yes, and you may wonder how the bishop do it is painful. Yeah. I have understood that he paid for it. So there is no reason tonight why you shouldn't be healed. I don't think you heard what I said. Yes, There's no reason tonight why somebody should not carry your money and come and give it to you. See, let me tell you something. That rich man that refused to help you is winning your money. Yes, yes. Yes. Bible said, ask and you shall be given. Yes. When you ask and the person doesn't give you, tell God, you say, I shall ask and I shall be given. The person didn't give you, the person is going to. Go and complete your scripture in part two. Are you listening to me? I don't get angry at people who don't give you, but you will come back and give me. You know why? I can't be refused. It's not the truth, it's just the truth. I can, you can't say no to me. Me? You say no to me. Your sleep is gone. Your sleep is gone. Because scriptures cannot be broken. I don't think you heard what I said. I know in whom I have believed. He paid for me to ask. He paid for me to receive. Tell your neighbor your miracle is paid. There is no reason why you cannot become the chairman of Actors Guild without any election. There is no reason. Why? It's been paid for. Me. So long as you desire the position, you will fight. You know what I tell my children? Nobody can sack you from that door. Not even the owner of the company. Before the owner can sack you, God will sack you. The day you leave the company is very choose. Nobody can evict you from a house that you have decided to stay. The day you comply to what they said, it's you that comply. God paid that rent. You may not have seen it as paid, but God paid it. If you decide to stay there one more year, nothing is going to happen. No caterpillar will come. No God will even answer them. Are you listening to me? Why? It's paid for, but you must understand. It is paid for. You are not the one that has to pay for it. The miracles don't happen because we are not. They don't happen because you think they will obey me because Oh, I put off man of God. No. They obey me because they know the person that paid. And they know that I know who I'm representing. That's why when I walk to God, Papa, I don't come again. No. My senior brother said, I come if you make a collect. If God can refuse Jesus. For you to believe with God answer my prayer, you don't know who you are serving. What do you mean with God answer my prayer? God answered it before you pray for me. Tell your neighbor, God answered you. God answered you. Why am I not married at my age? God answered you. The man came, you didn't recognize him. What you need to do is I say, Father, open my eyes so that we see. You thought he was going to come carrying a, 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 black, a black briefcase and suit. <laughs> that you thought he was going to come in a Lexus and he came in a Lexus. Mm. <laughs> And you did not understand that God allowed him to come in the leg socks so that your humility will not use his leg socks to judge his today. But the vision he carries for tomorrow. How many women have missed? I love what the house I used to say. They said, if my wife has chosen Mercedes Benz, she would have missed Blessed Benz. Are you listening to me? And me, I'm very happy. When I had two bedroom flat, nobody agreed to marry me. When I became a squatter in my own office, this woman agreed. Every time she traveled and played, I was the first person that made her enter Maja Kobaje. You know what they call Maja Kobaje? J5. Normally, she would fly one hour, let us to Jaws. I made her enter those six. And let us food. And she still follow. She still follow. While my friends were taking their girlfriends to the finest restaurant, me and her would take 10, 10, 10, 10, is it 10 cobbles here? We hide behind the kiosk, sit there on top of the old rugged bench, wipe it with our clothes, then sit down and be sharing suya from what that's our date. I said, remember the first picnic we had? This picnic, you call it. The whole basket was in one night number. Picnic. I carried one radio like this, one small radio. We went to Babbage. 
with one small radio, very tiny radio like this, and then went to Mr. Big's bus meet by and go. That's me. I went to the beach. We entered that boat from now to Balinde, from Balinde to Balinde, from Balinde to that was how we went on a date. <laughs> on a date. But you see, even back then, the cars that we would drive were big. That's why when I come to church in those days, I would tell them somebody is driving my car. Somebody is driving my car. Oh God, is here. I have witnesses. Somebody is driving my car. He said, How can he be saying somebody is driving? Somebody is driving me. The Bible said, All things are yours. That ticket to go to Italy is yours already. Amen. See, the reason why you are shaking before you go to the embassy is because you don't know the visa is your own. The person is only a delivery person to give you what's already yours. Yes, are you listening to me? Yes, Any contract you are hoping God will give you is a contract you will never get. Why? What is yours, he has already given you. So once you say that contract is mine, it's mine. I remember those days in Joss, when we started this anointing oil thing. Eh? This is one of the reasons why you must go and share testimony with outsiders. When we started this oil drinking thing and this rubbing of oil, anointing oil and everything like that, one unbeliever that had been looking for contracts, he didn't get contracts, heard about the anointing oil. So he now went to buy olive oil and rubbed it on his face. You know when you pack olive oil like this, he packed it, packed it, plenty on his face. His face became reflective. <laughs> I'm serious. Now went to a company to want to go and collect contracts. As soon as he got there, she made the thing is working for them in and said to him, he gave them. He told them, he said, I want to see the director of this company. So of course they were looking at him. Everybody was looking at him with suspicion. Security was standing and but nobody could touch him. Do you have an appointment with him? He said, Yes, I have an appointment with him. Tell him there is a contractor here waiting to see him. So they went inside, they said, There's no strange man out there waiting to see you. He said, He has an appointment with you. The director said, Okay, let him come in. When he came in, the director first of all wanted to laugh. When he saw the oil reflecting in the man's face, he was like, What is this? So he said, Please, Mr. Man, can I help you? He said, I heard that there is a supply contract for 3.5 million. That time, 3.5 million was money. Said, for 3.5 million that people are about to give out, I came to tell you it's my own. Unbelievable. I can't go to church before. I came to tell you it's my own. The man looked at him. He said, you came to collect? He said, no, I didn't come to collect the contract. I came to tell you it's my own. The director didn't know when he started laughing. <laughs> they laugh, 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 and that's a sit down. He said, sit down. Sit down and write, it's your own. The man now brought out all the files of people that have put down tenders. He said, please study it. After you study it, bring your own. And the man read everything and brought his own proposal. After having seen the school of what the others did and collected the contract. Mm. It was after it happened that he now went to church to go and receive Christ. Are you listening to me? Yes, but he came into the miracle has been paid for. Not the miracle is on the way. Yeah. The gospel of the miracle on the way is an error. There is no miracle on the way. The miracle is here already. You see that sickness you are crying about doesn't exist. Yeah. It was nailed to the cross. Yeah. Your spine is not caught. Your leg is not shot up. You don't have a brain tumor. You don't have a headache. Why? That sickness was paid for. The treatment was paid for. The cure was paid for. All you need to do is what? Receive. Everybody say receive. Receive. That's all you came to do tonight. To receive. When I looked at how Jesus taught the field, said the way is open permanently. The way to your blessing is open up. The way to your healing is open. Amen. So don't think, oh God is punishing me. You know how many people suffer. You had a dream. Somebody came to sleep with you at night and you are miserable for, for what? Please come and have it more. See, listen to me. Let me tell you something. If you're a single lady, eh, 
You will feel it. Yes, and you will dream it. There's nothing spectacular about it. Somebody say you hated the dream you are possessed. And you woke up in the morning and your senses are still intact. If you are possessed, you will be naked dancing on the street. Yes, if you woke up in the morning, your head is still intact. Enough for you to know you ate the dream. Then you are not possessed. Because if you are possessed, who will remember you ate the dream? And you sit there and be feeling miserable. I ate the dream. I dreamt though, that one cockroach was carrying cutlass and was chasing me. And I dreamt the dream three times. He's trying to deceive you. Every time I dream that dream, anything I'm about to do is spoil. He's lying. Is lying. Why? That miracle has been paid for. And it will remain reserved in the day you collect it. I didn't hear that amen. Yeah. I said it remains reserved in the day you collect it. Yeah. You have got to understand when you request for grants from a big company to support your organization. I don't know who is listening. They can't deny you because that grant is paid for. Yes. Jesus paid for it. If you will be conscious of what I'm telling you today, Jesus paid for your admission to university. Amen. Jesus paid for that visa. Amen. Yes, you will do your physical part by going to GTV to pay for the US visa. But the truth is that he paid for you to live in America. Amen. He paid for this. Oh, you don't understand. Are you understanding? Yes, I say, are you understanding? Yes, Stop looking at yourself yes. as a video. I am the Archbishop elect with a very large confederation of about 50 people. How is it possible? I became a churchless bishop. And old men came to consecrate me a bishop. When I had no form of comeliness that anyone should desire me, God made me a bishop. He didn't wait for me to build church and open branches. He made me a bishop when auntie, while others would brag with as much as five million to become bishop, God gave me to be why? Because he paid for it. What are you looking for tonight? Think about it. Are you tired of living in a room of palace and containers? That's what the room that has been paid for. Amen. Amen. Ask my wife. We were living in a very fine three bedroom apartment. They gave us quick notice because I had a quarrel with the landlady who simply got jealous that I was concentrated in the show. The woman had decided she didn't want me in her house anymore. My presence was destroying her. And I thought I would leave. I said, I don't want to contend. I would leave. But I told my wife, I said, if I leave three bedroom, I'm moving to a full detached house. I am not sharing common with nobody. They took us around. The last rent I paid was two feet. Every time we looked at the duplex, one point something million. What was my monthly income? Less than 30 million. One day, agent showed us some house, and my wife said, Honey, why don't we just manage the three bedroom flat for now? You can always believe God. I said, Lie, lie. My duplex is big. My house is big. Ask her how long it took from the time the agent showed us this house that I did. Ask how long. When the agent was showing us the house, she was looking at me like, am I seeing it? Because I kept receiving a phone call. And this was how I was. I had a very large congregation of less than 20 people in church. Most of whom were also collecting transport money and start dropping off. You know, people are receiving their hundred fold return immediately. They drop 50 naira off and I come and collect 500 naira to go home. Immediately after service, they were receiving their miracle immediately. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was paid for. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yes, that was the condition in which I was pastor. <laughs> and here I was. They were showing me this kind of house. And I was just mm -hmm. went upstairs. Mm -hmm. My wife was wondering, is this man even seeing this house at all? Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. As soon as we finished, we came outside. I said, so how much is it? He said this and I said, eh. Is that your final answer? Okay, okay no problem. Give me the account number. I paid for it within an hour. Ooh. Within an hour, cash. Paid for it, brought my debt, I gave it to myself. 
I was already living in this house one month before landlord me so much as part of this house. Are you listening to me? Before landlord knew somebody was living in his house, I don't be back. One month. But I knew what my monthly income was. No shame. No shame. And every year I pay my rent ahead. See, every year I pay my rent ahead. Every year I pay rent ahead. Every once in a while, I will remind the church that you are also here to join the pain of rent. But whether you join or you don't join, that rent will be complete. So people wonder, they believe that I must have one well where I'm fetching money from. Yes, my money is paid for, but it is not necessarily my physical account. It is in the heavenly account that I already knew that every project I set my heart to do is paid for. What did I say? It's paid for. I went to Germany. My account had not read more than 3,000 naira for six months. You know that kind of account you can never present at the embassy was what I came there. They looked at it, they saw it was two pages. Six months account, two pages. It had not shifted, nothing, empty. 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 All the casing was 3K balance, 3K balance, 3K balance. No deposit, no withdrawal, no deposit, no withdrawal, no deposit, no withdrawal. Six months! The man looked at me and said, how can you sponsor a trip to Germany? And let me tell you for your information, tickets to Germany was 265,000 Naira. I can't forget. I remember the day I told Gladys, I bought the ticket at the airport. Pastor Gladys looked at me and said, it is not possible. That does not happen. I said, you don't understand. They kept the counter open. I left home with my rucksack and box, going to Germany. The very day that I was supposed to fly, I left home without a ticket. Got to Isono. There was traffic. The vehicle was not moving. I was driving. So I got down, took my rocks and told Okite, meet me in the airport if you get there on time, good luck. If you don't get there on time, I am going to Germany with my rocks and. Went to the airport, I said, where is the counter? They said, the ticket, if you want to buy, you go upstairs. Montala Mohamed, I went upstairs to go and buy. Was, Taza? I went to buy. While I was buying, they said, the counter is about to close. So they wrote a note and sent a note to the counter that the counter was not close to my house. They held the counter. For the man whose account balance had been written just 3,000, nothing changed, nothing coming, nothing going. Huh? I bought the ticket, went down. It was as I came downstairs that I saw them passing through the door. They had to enter one way to beat the traffic to bring my luggage to me and the counter went. And I was on that plane. I left Nigeria with 40 euros. I came back with more than 80 euros. I didn't put a word anywhere. And I ate. I took train. Are you listening to me? I took train across four states in Germany. And I said, Go in and come. And I still came back richer than I left. Tell your neighbor is paid for. If I tell you what I'm saying, because when I look at people, they look at me and say, it's easy for him to say. They say, it's not Bishop. Let's go to America now. They think I'm hiding dollars inside the house. I feel sorry for you. For those of you that think I have dollars, that get to, went to 10 arm robbers and I have dollars and gold. <laughs> for your information, my account is not empty. All I know is that once I make up my mind, I'm going anywhere in the world. I said, once I make up my mind, I'm going anywhere in the world. I don't look at price. Why? It's paid for. My God can afford this. Yes, sir. It's fully paid It's fully paid for. That job that you think they will not give you. Who is that employer that will reject you? Everywhere you sit for interview, they will take you. Why? Yes. Your seat in that company is paid for. Yes. I need you to stand this, this morning. I need to 